Okay. This is a great find. I can't believe it. Look at these. This is an, another big nest. I'm getting roasted by bugs out here since it's on and off raining, but you can see different life cycles. This is just incredible. It's exactly what I thought I was gonna find and exactly what I've been looking for for the past like month and a half. I think they bloomed late this year. Um, past spots I found them at, they didn't even show any signs of existing. And it looks like we almost have like a cycle already over here. I don't know if those are ones that already became the corpse stage or not, but these are really fresh, man. They almost have just came out a week or two ago, not even. Now, a lot of people are asking, how do I find them? Where do I look? You want old forest, tons of leaf litter. Um, you're just looking in general where fungus would grow because they feed off the same underground microbial fungus that chanterelles, bear corn, you know, a lot of parasitic plants and fungi rely off of. I don't really look for any certain trees. There's rum rumors that likes elm trees. Um, but I always find them in white oak, white ash. That's what all this stuff is. Find them alongside chanterelle mushrooms a lot. So if you know where those are, they shoot off the same one. But they're really fragile. So any kind of big rainstorm or windstorm or anything, we get a lot of floods. So they can easily come out of the ground. There's one on the ground here. So we can examine that. So. That's a pretty sizable one. That's above average. That's a full-sized ghost pipe. There's the uh, flower head inside is all the seeds. There is pollen, so bees, bees like it. They're good for the environment. As you can see, it gets a little more purple and dark down at the bottom. I'm trying to help you out there. So, it's a crazy taste. It's not tasteless. Um, it's not comparable to anything that I've had. So, I don't recommend trying it just to try it. I recommend using it if you're in a lot of pain. Um, if you're under a lot of stress, it helps with anxiety, sleep. It's a nervine, so it really calms your nerves. But this would be a full ghost pipe with the root. You know, the flower head disconnects right here very easily. And then it's just a very solid part. Like, this is pretty solid. It's crunchy. Where if I did the same thing up here, it would probably break right off. I'm not going to eat this. Because <laughs> I have to drive. So don't eat ghost pipes and drive. If you're going to, you know, this is a campground. I'm, I might get a campground this weekend knowing this is here. Maybe use a little bit. Now, before everybody tells me how rare it is and this and that, I mean, it's everywhere. And I find it every summer, all the time. You just got to know where to look. And you got to keep looking. And you'll find what you need. It'll come to you. I had, a, like I said, I had a weird dream last night that I was just camping and I just kept finding these everywhere like big patches like this is a big patch you know each ghost pipe is a single dose if you needed it and you can make it in a tea as well um yeah it's a lot of medicine you make that all into a tincture you would for one person it would last years but 
It is incredible to find after I've been looking for a long time. But I, I guess it's season here in southeastern PA. Thank you much.